This is some wind. Come on, take it like a man! That's easy to say. It may be difficult to believe, but Lady Marta is depending on you. So please, try to act like a man in front of her. I'm not sure if I can. What's keeping you two? Come on, we need to ask if anyone's seen Lloyd. Let's hurry! Wherever Lloyd is, that's where the Centurion's cores are. So let's find the mayor and ask if Lloyd's come by, okay? Right. Wow, this wind is really something. Right now, all sorts of strange weather patterns are happening around the world. It's all because of the joining of the worlds two years ago. But everything will work out if the Centurion's cores are hatched, right? That should be true in theory. Wait, what do you mean, theory? Things are not always as simple as they appear. This town seems kind of desolate. This is weird. The last time I came here with Daddy, it wasn't like this at all. Your dad? Now that you mention it, where's your family? Well... Watch out! Uh, sorry. It's fine. It's all right. You have an interesting creature with you. Emil, what are you doing? We're terribly sorry. Are you all right? Marta, this man, he... This town's changed, too. Huh? Excuse me, are you originally from here? A long time ago. Back then, this city wasn't even called Asgard. Sorry, this is my hometown. It brings back memories of my friends from back then. It seems they got the better of me. Forgive me. That guy, he noticed Tenebrae. Are you sure? I've never seen anyone who could do that. I wonder who he is. some strange things. What a weirdo. I mean, it's been a long time since this town changed its name to Asgard. Right. No human alive today could have been around then. Could he be an elf? Maybe that's how he noticed Tenebrae. Yeah, but even elves and half-elves only live about a thousand years tops. He must have been teasing us. Jerk. He may actually be older than his youthful appearance would indicate. Oh, you mean like you, Tenebrae? Yeah, maybe that's it. We Centurions are ageless. I will not be treated like a doddering old man. I just don't get it. Huh? What do you mean? The wind isn't strong enough. There's no way a wind this weak could damage buildings like this. Hmm. Well, maybe some days the wind is stronger.
sorry. We'd better go find some shelter somewhere. There's a cave-like area not far from here known as the Mural Cavern. If I may suggest, perhaps we should head there to avoid the wind. Sounds good. Let's go. Wait! It's safer if we hold hands. Think so? Ah, uh, two young hearts all a flutter. How sweet. A flutter? Who says stuff like that anymore? I do. You got a problem with that? <laughs> You're funny, Tenebrae. Way to kill the moment, you two. in here. Yeah. What's the matter? Your face is beet red. Your hand. Oh, do I have to let it go? I, uh... <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, I wonder why the wind got so strong all of a sudden. I believe it's linked to Lord Ratatos' sleep. Yeah, I know that's the root of the problem. I meant, why did the wind get so strong just now? Perhaps it changes, in a manner similar to you. I know. I'm just a weak nobody without the help of Nidoratatosk. That's not true. You're strong, kind, and cool. Really? Really? You're my prince, Emil. I wonder if she really believes all that. I hate to interrupt this fascinating discussion, but the wind seems to have died down a bit. It did? Yes, but now I hear voices. There seems to be some sort of commotion. Let's go and have a look. It'll also give us a chance to ask about Lloyd. Right. <laughs> 